Hello. We're back. We're at the Alchemist's Isle. Oh yeah, we just beat, um, <clears throat> Victor 2. And... Now we get to see the entire... Fuck! The entire rest of this area. Is this what the... This isn't... This is just the Alchemist Isle, right? Because that loading screen said something about the Rose Estate, but I don't know what that is. I gotta take that cannon out. Oh shit, another big guy. backing up into the staircase oh man oh man not a good start I'm kind of considering um switching back to what the fuck I thought I had a different weapon equipped no I didn't because it made me heavy and I I realized there was really no reason to force myself to be heavy Okay, that was a poorly timed roll there. That's that's on me. Oh fuck, he reached really far. I did not expect that. Do not die! Do not die! I can't hit this dude. Alright. This one's a wash. <laughs> this runs a wash. We can kill this dude at least. Oh, let's try and get him hit by a cannon. Nice. Right in the head. Okay, I don't think that's really doing much damage to him though. Just block. There's no reason to try and perfect block that. Okay, well. I hit the wall. I hit the wall. Die! Where are you going? Get back here! I can't reach that. <laughs> I can't reach that. Give me that. Those are really creepy. Do I just stand here? Oh, yeah. Use badge. Music is pretty cool in this area. Okay, what did that do? What did that do? Where is that? Oh, it's down here. Bring it on. Okay, well, I'm not like that. 
please. I didn't really mean bring it on. I meant le let me kill you easily. Hey, that guy's trying to blow up on me. Okay, fuck. That was close. I should probably actually use those urgent repair tools in boss fights. Fuck. That's really annoying. quick bad Fuck. That's new. Saw him right out of the corner of my eye. Oh, there's an item I missed over there. Shit. Shit. I gotta get it. I have to get it. It'll be real quick. Everything's already dead. It's just gonna be a stupid resistance ampule, but... I have to have it. I have to have it. Oh, I went too far. <laughs> oh, no. This is gonna drop me, isn't it? No. Oh, Star Fragment. Cool. That's... I like those. I use those all the time. There's a couple of them. A couple of bad hombres. Can I just pull one? I want to just pull one. <laughs> oh, surprisingly, that didn't work. That was cool. Didn't, didn't quite work how I expected it to, but it was a cool way to dodge that attack. That was cool. Man, everything's so fucking easy. Maybe I don't want to switch back to the old sword. I can't tell if, like, if I'd be doing this well with the old sword, because it's just, like, I'm a high level, or if it is because I'm doing fire damage now. Don't touch me. Okay. Um. Okay. How is this guy not down? Like, I can't believe that didn't, uh, break his poise or whatever. All that shit. Veteran's amulet. Is that just, like, dexterity, probably? Where is it? Max Legion. Oh, lame. No, thank you.
Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fair. I should go back I feel like we're getting to the end of the game and I don't know I'm just not ready I need to go back to the hotel and and like make sure I do everything I want to do you know I gotta level up I don't even have max um Oh, I guess I do. I might have max quartz. I don't have any spare quartz on me. Full moonstone of the covenant. And then a whole bunch of shards. I could level up a special weapon. I kind of want to go back to strength. Just because... Uh, I don't know. That just feels like what I should do, you know? You I feel like that's just what I should do. I do have a full moonstone. I could fully level up one of these. We have the booster glaive blade fully leveled up. Like this thing. Am I ever... I don't think I'm gonna get another weapon that I would want to use the full moon moonstone on. Or full moonstone of the covenant is what I mean. I just don't think this sword is ever going to be good. I don't want to use it. But I do kind of want to go back to the seven coil spring sword. Because it's just like my sword, you know? That's my sword. That's my boy. Let's go ahead and level this up. Just because that's the right thing to do. I don't think I could level up the flamethrower again, could I? The foaminess is the other advanced thing. What else do we got? This ex machina. Pandemonium. Yuck. Yeah, I think it's just the fulminess. Which I don't think I really care for. I like the puppet string. So I think I just want to see if I can level up the... No, I don't. I can't. And I can just level up at this, right? Is that right? Yeah. I don't think I need capacity anymore. Actually, honestly, everything feels good. I think just increasing damage more is... is the only thing to do. I don't know why I'm even going up here. I don't, I don't know. I just... <laughs> I guess I should just keep going. I did need to rest to get my stuff back. Oops. Wow, we're like, I feel like we're in the Mummy movie. I like some kind of Indiana Jones movie. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm alive! Where am I? Oh fuck, I hate that you can't aim this thing up or down. That's so dumb. Oh, he did fall. He did manage to fall down here. Okay. Let's try and, like, sh throw something at these guys. Shot puts. Thermite. Let's do thermite. That should burn them to death, right? Looks like it. That's new. Is that new? Oh, fuck. I think he missed. No. You get out of here. I don't know. I don't think I'm going back. This sword just feels really good. It feels so strong. And it just, it looks really cool. It's a really cool sword. I ain't going back. Is that a person? Bundle of old letters. Dear Valentinus Monad, as a result of the last summit, we venerable families have decided to sponsor the Zelator Laboratory construction plan actively. Uh, there are still those who oppose, but it won't be too hard to persuade them. The only possible variable is that they won't give any information without the lab. Being careful is a good thing. But we're the ones who provide the funding, so we don't want any uncertainties. We should never just watch. Old families hate being looked down the most. You alchemists know and handle so many things. I had no idea the place known as the Devil's Pit had so much value. But when a gold mine or a secret is revealed, you can't put the cat back in the bag. Don't worry about the construction workers, we'll take care of it real clean. Don't forget, if you look down or try to trick us, it's not only the workers who will disappear. Till next time I see you. I'm looking forward to our beneficial exchange. In the name of the old houses, Volf. Who's Volf? Are you Volf? Likely not. I want to get back over there. I don't... There was... There was stuff over there. There's stuff all over the place. Maybe this area I'm in is like a secret area though. I should not... I should not just be so quick to leave. Um... <laughs> it doesn't really look like a secret area. Oh shit. Oh shit. You... You smell something, boy? Jiminy? What you got for me? Ooh, that was a, that was quite the ambush. That was quite the ambush. I barely made it out of that one. Okay, where did this where did this butterfly at? No, no, it's so tough. Oh, another full moonstone. Okay, well, uh, Sister Alchemist Odreed. Although she could not be completed, may she be with us through her noble sacrifice. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, Odreed. That is a bomb. Should I blow that up? 
Probably not. No. I don't think I should. voice for that guy. Ow! You gonna hurt me? What happened to all the alchemists? Oh, fuck. I guess they were all sacrificed. First discovery, Camille. Camille. She is probably the first puppet with an ego found by the Order. Before that, Ergo was seen as just a travel expense for a holy journey of the Order. But it was God's gift. It was God's gift, but they didn't know that it was truth itself. However, God gave us fools the revelation for our enlightenment. It was God's miracle that Camille was made into a maid puppet. Despite being in the early phase when the design was rudimentary, Camille taught or caught and saved a baby who fell from a crib. Such, such function was nowhere to be found in the design. Her appearance and identity in living years were sim similar, so it was probably easier for her to manifest an ego. After hurriedly collecting Camille to launch an investigation, the Order found out that she understands language and got a message. Send me back to my child. By interrogating and talk taking Camille apart, the Order had opened a door to a new possibility. Later, means of control such as the Grand Covenant emerged, but it was a small problem compared to this discovery. Ergo is not a simple power stone, it embraces life. Through Ergo, we can open the door to eternal life. Wake up, evolve, ascend. With this discovery, humankind will achieve immortality. Ah ha ha! Yeah. <clears throat> I guess that's uh, that's one way to do it. So ergo is just like human souls and they're just they knew the whole time that they were putting human souls into puppets and that's why the puppets were like so great. What the fuck happened to you? Do not! I please just let me hit him! Jesus! <laughs> so annoying! I hate weapon bouncing off the walls. Okay. That is a weird that's a weird bit of lighting right there. What the fuck is going on? It's weird. Acidic Great Curved Sword Blade. Well, we definitely gotta check that out. It's an advanced weapon. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, so this does acid, I'm guessing. Oh, shit. Does it just always do acid, or does it only do acid if you do the weapon art? How do I tell? Shit. 
fast slash, jump up and slash upward, then slash downward as you land. After attacking, your weapon is temporarily imbued with acid. So it's only a temporary thing? It's more technique. Curse sword made by the alchemist while researching carcass body fluids. It was designed to spray acidic body fluid over the blade at regular intervals. The alchemist took notice of the fact that carcass body fluids had an acidic quality. After extensive research, they devised a weapon that dug into one's body like a viper's fangs and inflicted continuous damage. The bottom of the handle is finished with a snakehead decoration. The serpent of the Ouroboros was a symbol that the alchemist held sacred. They made the weapon of their dreams from the carcass body fluid that reminded them of the viper. Wow, well, let's give it a shot. Let's just give it a good old test run here. If it does some, if it does acid damage just like with every swing, then I'll probably try it out. I'll probably try using it. But if I have to have technique to really use it at all, then probably not. Probably not going to happen. I don't like that. Do I have to... Don't tell me I jumped down here for just... Oh my gosh! What the fuck? It's... I can't tell because these things always leak acid. Or these things always leak body fluid. Whatever it is called. I can't tell if the sword is emitting it. That was dumb. And now I'm decayed. I want my, uh, I want my regular sword back. Not gonna happen. Okay. I gotta test it out on, like, the training dummy or something. Back at the hotel. So, this is... This is where I fell off from originally. It must be. Yeah. Okay, cool. Finally made it back here. And I can finally get this this stupid star fragment or whatever. Now, if I survive. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I'm hoping to find another special weapon that uses this. Should I just go ahead and rest now that I've got the shortcut? Probably ought to. Because I'm in kind of a bad way. Need to go back down there, I don't think. That guy's gonna be shooting at me. That's annoying. Can I throw something at him?
so stupid. I hate not having any, like, ranged options. A gun would go hard. Or like, like a bow and arrow. Or probably a crossbow would be pretty fitting for this game, right? I mean, I think a gun would be the most fitting, but... Bow and arrow. I'm gonna say bow and arrow. Would be the best. Shit. That's not good. I can't believe I have to jump down to get that item again. It's not even going to be good. But I have to get it. I have to get it. Okay, so this is the hole where that that weird light was. So I did not need to jump down there for sure. Which is good to know. That's good to know. That thing is still alive. button no no I've been down there all right take two take two on getting this item <laughs> oh my gosh if I had missed that I would have been so sad oh okay that's probably worth it I think that's worth coming back for Now how do I, uh... What's the quickest way back up? I think just jumping down here. So I could probably get the... Where am I? I could probably level up that, uh, the big slow sword and, and dick around with that a little bit more without too much worry because I've got two extra full moonstones. If I decide to switch back to strength, that is. I'm still liking the advanced weapons. Okay, that looks bad. Yeah. All right. I mean, they're very easy to avoid, though. Felt like an ambush. I have no idea where that is. It's, I can't just go through the door. Where is that? What the fuck? Oh. 
Oh. That wouldn't even really hurt that much. That's not a far fall. Oh, I see. Nope. 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 I want to get under this cannon so it can't shoot me. Now, I couldn't see that coming. Or that, for some reason. Not bad. Oh, I could probably farm those guys for the, the Dark Moon Moonstones, maybe. Later F-350 frame? <laughs> Sounds like a truck. Alright. More defense. Hell yeah. 37%. Experimental product made by Leda, the Puppet Parts Workshop. Its weight is a drawback, but its performance when it comes to impact and torsion is on a different level. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. I should probably have break on, huh? I should probably have break on. And I still think, um... Strike has to be the best. Strike has to be the most common. And this thing... Yeah, corrosion resistance seems like the best thing here. Okay. We're still we're still looking good. It didn't even send me to the next heavy tier. Does it not drop an item? Oh, it did. Okay. Uh. Might as well take a peek. Might as well take a peek. See what's up here. Item? Don't be. Don't be a resistance ampule. Oh. Okay. Equally useless. Cool. Arguably more useless, because I don't. I, there's like nothing I can do with that. That seems like the way to go though, so I kind of want to look. I thought there was another path over here. Maybe I'm... I might just be crazy. Oh, it's a shortcut. Okay. I should get that for sure. Oh, and there is some stuff. There is extra stuff here. Bad? I have to jump? I have to jump. I don't remember how to jump. Is it clicking the stick? Yes, it is. Okay. never have any worthwhile treasure anywhere. I should go ahead and rest, huh? No reason not to. Nope. 
No, thank you. Seems very foreboding. Oh, I thought it could be quick enough to hit him, but I could not. Another full moonstone, very cool. I could upgrade the mace unless I find something new. Well, like the acid thing, um... Those things should not even... Light up. Them lighting up like that makes them useless. Ugh, now I'm gonna look all the dumber when I eventually get hit by one. Oh. I don't like that. Sir? So I don't- I don't really get what's happening here, to be honest. Like, it seems like these people are using... Ergo to just become zombies? Or whatever? But... It seems like... What they ought to have done is... Just... Like, put their souls into puppet bodies, right? Isn't that what the goal was? Isn't that why I am alive? Because they were trying to perfect... Puppets? What is this going to do to me? Oh, there's... There's spikes. Or like, darts. There. So maybe they just like gave up on the whole puppet idea. And decided to just become zombies instead. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. How do I get over there? I want that thing. I don't know. Let's just go down the ladder. Man, this place is a maze. You bastard. Shit, okay, fine. I can play rough. I can play rough. Get fucked. <gasps> the door! This gotta be the last door. Yeah, I'm just going in. The Chosen One's Trinity Key. We did it! We got all the Trinity doors. Oh, shit. Is that the Riddle Master? End of Riddles. Discover all Trinity Sanctums. Sweet. The Riddle Master was a puppet the whole time? Arlecchino. Guest. <laughs> oh, I bid you welcome, puppet of Geppetto. This is our first face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> he was a murderer, yeah, right? We weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. I admit, I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? I know all about those alchemist cowards hiding away on their 
island growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact that they are hiding or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only... No, I haven't really been lying recently, can. honestly. I tell the truth most of the time you when I'm given the choice. Answer. Oh, okay. The question is simple. But I repeat. You must I can do it. I can answer this. Answer. And that answer will show what or who you are. Carlo. Who you have decided to be. I'm Carlo. Now listen closely and heed the king's speech. Or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet? Or a human being? Whoa, that's tricky. Which one are you? Cause like I was a human, cause all the all the ergo is is all human souls, and I was Carlo, a human little boy that got turned into a puppet. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm I'm doing puppet. I'm a puppet for life. Disappointing! Oh, after coming so far, enduring so much, doing so much, killing, maiming, saving, and loving, ah! Oh, why in the name of blessed Ergo would you shackle yourself once more? Hmm? Please. You know it as well as I do, as we all do. We are human. We may I'm a live puppet now. in the medium of ergo and bodies of wood and metal, but we are human beings. We live. We think. We love. We hate. We are alone, like all human beings. They have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. <sighs> blood and revenge, revenge and blood. <sighs> it is the only thing that truly drives me. And it was so much fun. <laughs> I think this guy might be evil. You, Geppetto's puppet. You're, you're the puppet who embraced living and fought to stay that way. I thought you would... No, you don't understand me, then... Who will? So, a little shadow plays over, puppet. Take this as a souvenir, and you can throw yourself onto a bonfire or just go straight to hell. It does make things a bit more fun. You have to laugh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alchemist's cape and a quartz. The play is over. You don't have to go home or straight to hell. Though well, that would be my choice. But you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> How he called? Aren't yeah, that's a good question. Curious, huh? Don't you want to know? Oh. <laughs> of course you do. Delicious. <laughs> Time is all I have left. But your time is limited, Geppetto boy. I will gladly waste every moment you have if you like. It's your life. So, come on. Now or never. This tower is absorbing all the ergo and crot. It was built in this precise location because it's the most efficient place in the world to study and use ergo wavelengths. 
But it's not even about me. Or you, either. This is about the goddess in the tower. Now she... Ooh, is worth saving. Her powers are impossible. Her knowledge is endless. She is more... Well... Awakened... Than any of us. And you see... She has so much power. It's not like she'll miss just a little. So, a little being sharing. Why bother? Well, <laughs> I was bored. <laughs> Is there any more human motivation in all the world? <laughs> what if I made a puppet? Of a human. The way they made humans. Of puppets. What could possibly be more fun? More suitable? <laughs> okay, what else you got? Over. What else you got? Whether he is a serial killer? <laughs> Obviously! Ah, your eyes are sharper than your wit. You found the gift I left behind. <laughs> Wasn't it a sight to behold? Huh? I learned from uh, an alchemist when I served him. Thanks to him and his surprisingly low pain threshold, I learned the location of their secret island. <laughs> Humanity sullied its own sanctum long before I found it, blasphemed against itself, against us, by playing God. But I'm an artist. Murderer is a word the humans use to restrain us, to make us refuse our strength and power. <laughs> I'm an artist. An artist of blood. The I have to admit, sullying that particular sanctum was well. <laughs> Fun. Even now. The memory is enough to make me shudder with something approaching joy. If only I could relive that triumph. <laughs> the play. Truth behind the Vanini incident. Vanini? Beautiful fool, but a fool nonetheless. Yeah, the Nini, of this guy killed Nini's parents, right? And or did something? He ever thank me for making him an orphan with my bare hands? Like for giving him everything he has on a silver platter by removing the dead weight holding him back? Huh. Of course I'm not sorry. It was a delectable murder. Of the many, many I have committed since, the Veninis, they have to be my personal favorites. They engineered the very first automated puppets. Enslaved puppets without even understanding what they'd done. I didn't go there to take revenge for what his parents did. I mainly just wanted to slaughter them because they were so damned happy. Oh, what a great memory. In their last moments, they begged me not to kill their child. <laughs> so I didn't. I'm not a machine. I have free will. I made a choice in the heat of the moment. And it was a choice driven by that most human of emotions. Curiosity. If the child survived, 
Would he be traumatized for life? Become a coward? A vengeful puppet hating bigot? A despairing wretch? Would he fling himself into the sea? Would he remember the devil that orphaned him before his eyes was a puppet? Would he remember Arlecchino? Not surprisingly, the alchemists and people of the workshop were as artless as I expected. Concealing the truth. <sighs> Thanks to them, I get to see Manini endure twice as much pain. <sighs> I cannot control myself. <laughs> It's so satisfying. Vanini is one of my greatest accomplishments. Perhaps even my masterpiece. <laughs> I suppose I can return this. I've held on to my little souvenir for quite some time. Tell him it's a little something. To remember me by. Ooh. Moon World Warrior toy. The play is over. You, you still have more? Oh, okay. I can just kill you. The play is Yeah, I think. Well, I. Uh, I could come back to him, right? Maybe I should the just kill him. I should just kill him. Yeah, I should just kill him. Oh yeah, let's check out this this uh, outfit he gave me. What is it, the cape? Cape worn by alchemists. It is made of luxurious fabric befitting people who take pride in being the masters of crop. The alchemists believed themselves to be Krot's true masters. Naturally, the clothes they wore were so elegant and luxurious that they were said to wear Krot's wealth on their shoulders. Whoa, look at that. It looks bad. <laughs> it matches the glasses, though. Obviously, you would have to wear the top hat with it. And that looks awful. I look like a villain. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. Take the glasses off, too. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't need glasses. Alright. We should get back to Vanini. I mean, I gotta end the episode. It, we're hitting an hour here. There's more up, like, throughout this area that I did not discover. Which is annoying. Okay, no secret wall. Just gotta check every once in a while. Where did I come from? Oh, right, there was the bridge with the chest. Somewhere. And I fell. Okay, I'm just trying to, you know, get my bearings, keep track of where I'm, where I'm going, where I've been. Let's go up here. How do I get to that chest? Do I have to jump? That would be a hard jump. Must be a good chest, if that's how you do it. I'm gonna try it. I don't think that's correct, though. You probably just have to come through the doorway back there, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Nah. Yeah, nah. Alright, let's not step on these pressure plates. So we got two different elevators. I'd like to just get back to a stargazer. Check for secret doors.
this looks like a boss fight. This does not look like a stargazer. What's your deal? What's your deal, man? I, I'm not going back. Test I'm subject sick eight two six. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? You're not the inspector? But if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got a new emotion I can give my I puppet can friend. Memories of Ergo. That's what I was made for. Ergo is crystallized time and memory. But God, I hate having to consume Ergo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't stand it anymore, so I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. All right, remember that. He's going to Rosa Isabel I Street. Ergo, it's the I can't. We gotta get him. We gotta. <laughs> we gotta find him and get him. <laughs> Should I go to the other elevator? I need to end the episode, but. I feel like this is not a good stopping place. Ah, let's just open this door. I'm so indecisive. Cause there could just, there could easily be a stargazer right on the other side of this door. Oh, I think it. Yeah, there's, there is. Okay, so I open the door for that guy to get out. And then I can just go back up here. Sweet. I made the right call. Okay, I kind of want to tie up these loose ends though. I want to talk to Vanini, give him the toy, and then um, go to Rosa Isabel Street. Oh, in the barren swamp, I gotta give this guy his memory. Or his emotion. You know, this episode is just gonna be long, and I can do that because I'm the boss. <laughs> Whatever I wanna do, we do on this channel. I'm the boss. Oh, then you need the toy. But how... The toy my parents made me. You've met him. Arlecchino. We had just watched one of my favorite films, I remember. I begged them to make me the warrior from it. If I had... Would my parents still be alive? Would yeah, I think it was your fault. Untouched by that. Murderous puppet. I think it's safe to say I'm you're to blame for their myself. death. Yep, well, <laughs> rightfully so. It's a hell of a burden for a child. That kind of guilt. But one you deserve. So I hung on. I hung on to the Grand Covenant. I wanted to use it to keep people safe. You know, in many ways, I envy you. Your strength. I am quite strong. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. I always welcome. Oh, find out about the last story of Vinini. Okay. Increases weapon critical rate. We gotta try this, cause I can't use it. I can't use the elements when I have an elemental weapon. So I'm gonna see what that does. He's got a bunch of shit. He's got a bunch of shit. You're here. You're here. That's a relief. Let's level that bitch up. Oh, I gotta try out the the sword real quick. This thing. I gotta. I want to see if it always does acid damage or not. Cause if it only does it when you do the weapon art, then I'm not gonna use it. It doesn't look like it does.
Yeah, so it only starts doing acid damage when you do the webinar. Which is just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Unless it lasts forever. Like, if it... That would be cool. If you did the weapon art one time and then it lasted until you died or... Um... Rested? That would be cool. But it doesn't seem to. It's a really cool sword, though. I gotta say, I really like it. I, I gotta say, I, I really like it, but, uh, it's not for me. Oh, fuck. I just talked to you, you bastard. Might I have a moment, puppet of Geppetto? Ah, good. I was a bit concerned my voice wouldn't even reach you. It has been so very long since I spoke out of turn. Make sure it's the you last. See, I too have been awakened. I have an ego, as Master Benini would say. And I have been this way for some time. At least since Master Lorenzini was a child. He had no one else, you see. His parents. I'm sure you've heard of their terrible fate. And he had to see it all. But Master Lorenzini is stronger than most people suspect. A puppet was the killer. We both knew it. But if we had told the authorities, they might have removed me from the household as well. The young master would have been alone if I had been taken away. If only I could have saved them. Now I atone for that failure by thinking only of Master Vanini's prosperity and happiness. But even I did not realize how deeply he still held that trauma. How badly that murderous puppet had scarred his soul. You have set him free. I cannot thank you enough. Ah, oh, you can reward me. I am not accustomed to sharing such thoughts or feelings. But when it involves Master Vanini... Please... Accept this gift as it truly comes from the heart. My own. We will always roll out the red carpet for you at the house of Vanini. Cool. No. That's at the house it. Of Vanini, even priceless things. That's it. Just some stupid ergo. I wish you had been taken away from him. Alright, where else we got? We got the Baron Swamp. We got the Baron Swamp. We got Rosa Isabel Street. We got all the locations. I really hope that guy is at Rosa Isabel Street. I'm going to be really annoyed if he didn't show up so I could murder him. Alright, is happiness the last thing for you? Probably. Happiness seems like the most significant. Is he dead? No. <laughs> what did you come to tell me? You have to be happy. It feels good. Like being hugged by the sun. <laughs> it is a brilliant feeling. Like the start of spring. Thanks. I think. I've learned something about humans. If I make human friends someday, I'll tell you. Alright. You may not always be my only friend, but you'll always be my first friend. Oh shit. If I make human friends someday, may not. Cool, okay, well. If I make you, may not. <clears throat> yeah, badass. I, I wish you the best of luck with that. So let's try Rosa Isabel Street. Culvert? Entrance? We just gotta go through the whole place. Fuck it. This is gonna be a two hour episode. Two, two hour episode. Unless I find this guy immediately. 
which is unlikely. But it could happen. It ought to happen. It'd be just like the game to hide him way back here. No, that's back into the hotel, right? I think so. I'm not gonna go back there. Okay. We just gotta find him super quick. Uh, the music is starting to sound like dog shit. If you guys could pick it up a bit, that would be nice. Oh, I gotta switch to my electric mace for this area. Maybe I should have just gone to the culvert. I feel like it's more likely he'll be there. Wait, is that the lady singing? Get off of me! She can't even sing right anymore? Oh yeah, everybody's turning into monsters. Is that what's happening? I'm not really following along with the story, to be honest with you. Yeah, nobody can play their instruments anymore. That's so sad. This is where I should have gone. Is he here? It does not look like he's here. I don't... I don't think he's that way. Alright, I kind of give up. I think... <laughs> I think I give up. I think if he were here, it would have, like, shown him somewhere. Like, it would have shown his icon at one of the stargazers. I don't think he's actually left yet. Or maybe he is here somewhere and he's just a little bit more hidden. And uh, he's just like dead or something. I don't know. I think if he did come here he would have been very disappointed. Because this place sucks. This guy ain't here. This guy ain't here. Alright, well that was a lackluster end to the episode, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Uh, cause this guy just ain't here. There's the, the other dude's dead wife. Okay, we're leaving. We're done. We're done. I just wanna see what's, what's down this alley here. Cause I don't remember. Alright, it's nothing. We're done.
We're done. We're done. Goodbye. Uh. Ah. I got out. I got out. We're done. <laughs> I'll see ya.